Hey, this is Mike Johnston from Street Punk Productions, and today I just wanted to show you a new uh, set of tools that's available in Bing Webmaster Tools, which lets you gather a lot more data about your social networks and um, who's visited and how they got there. So I want to switch over to a screenshot now and show you what I'm talking about as I talk about it. Okay. All right, here we are in Bing Webmaster Tools, which if you have a website, you should have a, an account at Bing Webmaster Tools and Google Webmaster Tools. If you don't, go get one. Um, it gives you so much data on your site, but that's for a different video. For now, I just want to look at a relatively new feature on Bing Webmaster Tools. So if you go into your Bing Web Webmaster Tools account under Configure My Site, Connected Pages. Here is where Bing now lets you connect your social networking pages from a, uh, a nice wide variety of providers, um, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and this can be a personal Google Plus page as well as a business page. Okay, so I mean, if, if you're, for example, a singer and you're solo and you never really set up a business page, you're doing everything from your personal page, that's useful. If you uh, have an app on Microsoft or Google Play, you can also track things there. Your song or video or even your podcast on iTunes, you can track that. Pinterest, Windows Phone, YouTube, Instagram, MySpace. Wow, MySpace. Remember that? That's, that's still on there. Okay, well, I mean, if you're a musician, you may indeed be on MySpace because you want to be everywhere you can be. At any rate, so what you do in order to, to get this going is you select the type of page you're going to enter from the list we just dropped down, and then over here you enter everything past, like you'll select Facebook, say, and it gives you facebook.com front slash. So all you put in here is the rest of um, your vanity URL or, or the supplied URL, which is numbers and letters and things, if you don't have a vanity URL, but most people do now. So you just put everything that comes after the front slash in here, hit verify, it moves it down here and starts to gather data. <clears throat> on your page um, and this is I just set this up a little bit ago so um, it's it's not gotten a lot yet on mine but um, at any rate I thought I would show you I set up Facebook LinkedIn Google Plus Pinterest YouTube Twitter okay and this says not verified and the reason why which is interesting it says we did not detect your website URL in the page you are trying to connect okay well that is my LinkedIn um, company page so I'll have to check that out and see why my uh, website URL isn't in there because you would think it should be. But anyway, that's the reason it gives in, in both cases. And with Pinterest, this is my personal Pinterest. And I know I, I uploaded a couple of, of videos I did to Pinterest and there's random pictures and things. So, I mean, I can understand that. So it had no problem connecting to YouTube, Twitter, which is my company page, um, Google Plus, my company page. Um, and I, I think I recently added my personal page on there, although that might not show up yet. At any rate, and my uh, company Facebook page. Um, I'm, I'm sure you can do a personal Facebook page as well. It's, you know, I just didn't. But anyway, for the purposes of what I'm doing here, I didn't really have to. Now, I just want to show you what kind of data you can get from this, which is the important thing. Once you have it connected, it will get you how many clicks that you got from search, how many times you appeared in search. OK, and these are really important because if you if your profile appeared in search 5000 times and you got one click, there's obviously things you need to do to improve your listing in order to make it more attractive to people when you appear in the search. Um, in this case, I appeared in search six times and I got one click. Well, that's not too bad. One out of six. OK, so what can we what can we learn from this? If we come over here and we click on the number of times you appeared in search, <clears throat> it shows the date range it's going from, how many clicks from search, where you appeared in search, and it'll give you a little graph here. Um, and if there's a change, if you're doing better than the last period that you check, 
it'll show you. If you're doing worse, it'll show you because this is all data you really need to know if you're trying to promote your brand on the web, you know, um, month to month, day to day. How am I doing? Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? Can I identify why? What can I improve? These is, you know, a constant thing you have to go through. Now, down here at the bottom is, is the really in interesting things because it shows you search keywords. And because I have such small numbers, there's nothing that shows. If I let it go for a while and it has more in terms of, of traffic, it'll show these things. Why is this important? Because if you know the keywords that people are using that actually find you, then it kind of shows you where you can concentrate your efforts. If people are finding you through uh, searches for rock music video, Okay, well, that's a good term to use. We should keep using that. And then we can go over and look at the data on keywords in the Google Keywords tool, which is within AdWords, which is also another video. However, that gives you good data. If you put in, okay, this is my best keyword, um, rock music videos, and then you do a comparison search, it'll bring up all the keywords that it thinks are connected to that search term and it'll show you how many searches are done on each. So maybe you could modify it in some way and get even, you know, more um, clicks or a better search rank, you know, better position in the search results. Instead of being um, number six on page one, maybe you could be number two. So that's not bad. Okay. And then this is really interesting too. It also shows you the inbound links. And, and this is really hard, hard to get, you know, for most people because you can look on um, the data on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, and it doesn't really show you how people got to you. It'll show you, you know, some demographics and how many clicks you got and things like that, but it doesn't really show you where they came from. And that's really important because um, if, for example, your music video is on um, five music blogs and um, 50 of your fans put it on their personal page, that will show you who all is promoting you so that you can try to establish a better relationship with them and, and keep that promotion going. Um, so that's one of the most important features, but I can't see it because, again, um, I don't have enough traffic data yet on this channel. Uh, and it just says the feature displays the inbound links Bing is aware of, pointed at URLs on your web page. Links from websites external of your own that have been pointed towards your content. So yeah, really good stuff to know. So there's today's lesson in do-it-yourself web promotion. If you found it useful, I would appreciate you subscribing because there will be more coming up. And um, if you want some more personal attention, I am now part of the Google Help Outs program. And there will be a link to that down below here and also at the end of the video. So, again, thanks for your time. I hope I helped you out. See you later.